Hello everyone and welcome to another mod spotlight for Farming Simulator 2013. Um, the first thing you're going to notice here is the sound quality is probably a whole lot different. Um, that's because I have recently acquired a new headset. Um, I'm still in the process of getting it to work out 100% correctly with my laptop. Um, for some reason my laptop doesn't have a microphone port on it. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue, but I'm working around that. Um, I have a temporary solution with a uh, USB sound card type thing, um, but I don't particularly like this uh, setup, so it may be changing. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Um, today we're going to be going over a class. Um, this is a class uh, 620 Aeron? Arion? Arion? I don't know exactly how that's pronounced. Um, to start out here, um, it is a hundred and fifteen thousand eight hundred and sixty dollar tractor. Um, currently, it is fifty seven nine thirty to sell it back. Um, so it's not too bad. It's uh, about half, a little less than half of the normal price. Uh, so that's not too bad there. Actually, that probably is about half. Um, it's got a 158 horsepower, uh, 116 kilowatts or kW. Um, it has uh, a weight of 9,780 kilograms. Um, speed on it is 40, 50. Uh, I actually like that they put the speed here. Um, we'll actually do a speed test to see how accurate that is. And uh, maintenance is going to be $50 a day. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of her. Um, these tires look pretty cool. I like that there's brands on them. I don't know that brand or anything about that brand. Um, also, it looks like the words are backwards on there. Um, I think uh, not really big of not really that big of an issue, uh, but uh, it's a little annoying. Um, let's take a look at this side. You got a nice open cab view. Uh, some pretty good graphics, uh, pretty good details uh, with it. Uh, what looks to be a uh, probably a fuel tank uh, there. Uh, the front, you do have a full three-point with a PTO. Um, you have all kinds of lights. Got a class logo. Um, have the tractor name up there or the model-ish. Um, over here, you can see from here. Got a whole bunch of more lights up there at the top. Um, we got a nice stack here on the side with some lights on it. Um, this side doesn't look as good as the other side uh, graphically, I don't think. Um, this is a small, like, three-step little crazy-looking ladder. And this has, like, a full three-step stair. Um, so I don't know if that's um, how this tractor is actually made or if that's just what they did. But uh, if that's how it's made, then that's perfect um, the writing on the tires is correct this way um, but if you notice the other side the writing on the tires is incorrect um, so it's just a little bit of a mirroring problem um, I know from graphics work sometimes that's hard to do um, so you know pretty good job there uh, let's take a look at the back got a beacon up there at the top um, you got the Kloss logo back here um, got tons of lights back here. It looks like there's four on the top and then one on each uh, fender. Also looks like we have some uh, rear uh, tail lights there, which look pretty cool. Um, looks like we have a whole bunch of control buttons there. And oops, a whole bunch of control buttons there. A um, little bit of clipping, um, but not much at all. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, back here for hitch, we look like we have a, I want to say that looks like a ballpoint hitch down there. Uh, then we have sort of a pin hitch there, it looks like. Um, this is a full three point here. Um, except for it looks like the top part of the three point is not really there. Um, I mean it is, but it's not. Um, then we got some hydraulic hookups there and such. Um, 
A little bit of clipping again, but not an issue there. Um, let's go ahead and hop inside of her. Um, the inside is absolutely fantastic looking, um, in my opinion. Uh, quite a bit of detail. Um, start up here at the ceiling. Um, over here, um, you can see uh, there's a speaker that is just, uh, looks like it's roof mounted, uh, just underneath of that uh, radio there. Um, looks like uh, there's a little sort of computer there. Um, some different functions for the tractor. And then uh, looks like uh, some more light, looks like light buttons. And I'm not really sure what's above those. Um, pretty sweet little class um, kind of screen there. Um, that would be something you would see if you would attach like a class, like Baylor or a class something. You would use that to uh, sort of operate them, the hydraulics and all that stuff. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, over here you see we have a key. Um, just below that there's some other buttons. Nice little control panel there on the wall. I'm not really sure what that's for exactly, um, but it's pretty good detail. Pretty good graphics. Um, here you got a joystick. Uh, pretty nice looking little joystick. Um, all kinds of different buttons there with different colors. Um, you see we have a nice screen for the tractor, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have quite a few... Um, other buttons and stuff underneath and then there's that little lever over there with the uh, plus on it or a little joystick with the plus um, that looks pretty cool um, over here we look at the steering wheel um, looks like a pretty nice screen there um, I don't know exactly if that one works or not I don't remember um, you got steering or turn signal over there um, and then you have a, a gear shifter just above it with the orange handle um, looks like you have windshield wiper controls there on the right of the steering wheel. Um, and then down there on the floor you have, looks like a clutch, your brake, your acceleration, uh, all that stuff down there. Got a small little passenger seat. Um, I'm obviously pretty sure that doesn't work, um, but I could be terribly wrong. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, show you what, uh, some of these other functions you may notice up there on the left. Um, the number pad 6 key, you have rear work lights, which turns on all six of these lights back here in the back. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, we have number pad 5, which is the front work lights, which turns on a god-awful amount of lights up here. I'm um, not really sure what all that stuff is. Um, there's all kinds of them. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lights, I believe, up here on the front. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, there's twelve. I miscounted one. So there's twelve lights there on the front. Um, number four, we have a light effect, which I don't know what that is. Maybe it has something to do with turning on the lights. I'm not really sure. Okay. So what number four does is it allows you to? No, I have no idea what number four does. Um, okay, so number four does something, because it's obviously making a clicking sound. Um, but as I walk around the tractor, um, I don't see anything that's flashing or anything that's changing. Um, nothing changes if you have the lights on, either. Uh, so that's that. I'm not really sure. Then if you do left, alt, and number pad five, you add duels to the front. Number pad 6 and left alt, you add duels to the back. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, those duels do look uh, pretty correct. Uh, look like they're on correctly. I'm sure you can clip through them as you can with all dual tires. But uh, hey, that's not a problem at all. That's just a function of the game. Um, if we go back inside of her here. Actually, while we're outside, um, let's take a look at the beacon. Beacon does work. Pretty nice little beacon there. Um... Okay, so one, turn signal left, two, um, dual signals, three is the right side. We know what four is supposed to do something, but we have no idea what. Um, five lights, six lights, seven, eight, and nine do nothing. 
So kind of a truck style horn there. Um, let's hop back inside. Uh, inside we're going to go ahead and start her up here. Um, now, I had a little bit of an issue with this because you actually have to start this tractor. And since I already have a uh, manual ignition mod, it caused a little bit of an issue. Um, but if you can um, manage the two of them, it works out pretty good. Um, so what you have to do, um, if we go into IC mode here, um, go ahead and uh, just start her up here. Um, you can turn her off this way also. Also, um, since my uh, IC, or since my manual ignition, um, I kind of went ahead and fixed that right now. Um, you can go ahead and just start driving forward or backwards and it will automatically start it up for you. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, also, if you get out while it's running, um, it's obviously going to continue to run. Um, it's also got a cool little smoke effect there. Um, but it's going to continue to run, so you're going to have to uh, turn that off there. Um, you do have uh, blinkers here. Those do work. Um, go back inside. Also, you'll notice the blinkers do light up on the dash. Um, oops. Let's go ahead and turn those off. Um, you have some IC here for the door. Um, IC does work on the door, and it works on this door. Um, the only other IC that's here is the turn signal. Um, it seems to be working now, um, but earlier I did have a slight issue with them. Um, so that's just something to keep an eye on. You may have a little glitch here and there with them, uh, but definitely nothing major. Um, also, when you shift up or when you hold down W to go forward, you'll notice the gear and the uh, joystick both engage forward. Um, you also notice the gear lever uh, when you go backwards engages into uh, reverse and the joystick goes backwards. Um, let's drive it around here a little bit. Listen to what it sounds like. Um, it's got a pretty good sound to it. Um, I do like how the smoke effect gets darker um, as you start to speed up a bit. Um, we'll notice here seems like we're getting about 30 about 30 31 is what we're maxing out there um, so let's go ahead and drive her back uh, definitely great sound um, I like this sound this is pretty good um, last but not least we're gonna do a uh, little hookup test here just to make sure everything hooks up correctly um, all that good stuff oops didn't stop her in time there you go it's hooked up there let's have a look uh, PTO looks like it's hooking up correctly um, hydraulic lines are way off but that's not really an issue for me uh, for some people it might be um, but in my opinion, hydraulic lines are way, 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 way off. Um, let's go ahead and untatch that thing because that's going to be annoying. Um, let's go ahead and flip her around here, see what she looks like attached to the front. Uh, I wonder if she has an invisible uh, pin hitch type thing on the front here. I'm sure she does not. Ooh, she doesn't. All right. So that's good there. Um, no random invisible pin hitch there on the front. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's also see if we can buy something uh, that's a three-point. I believe this is a three-point. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep. So, she does look like she connects up pretty well on the front. Everything looks correct. Three-point looks like it's in the right spot there. Hooks up correctly on the bottom. PTO hooks in correctly. That's awesome. Go ahead and shut this guy down. Um, definitely would recommend this Kloss. Oops. Uh, pretty nice little tractor here. Um, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Klosses myself. Um, 
But if you're looking for a cloth tractor, this is definitely a great, great cloth tractor. Um, remember, leave a like below. Also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any other mods you want me to check out or anything else you want me to do. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.